So in this series for Photoshop for Beginners, we're looking at some of the fundamental kind of get going, get creative uh, straight away. So in this film, we're looking at uh, kind of no knowledge at all and just trying to take the image to that next level or fix things. In this case, we're going to be looking at auto tone, auto contrast and auto color. So um, if you're brand new to Photoshop, um, pretty much what we're going to be looking at to begin with is things that you can just touch and press buttons with. And then in the series, we're going to also add a little bit of kind of next step to that same kind of structure of what to do. So in this case, uh, we're working with a single layer, first of all, on the left hand side here, uh, uh, right hand side, as you can see, just to the spoons and all the kind of the spices. And we're going to come across into image and we're going to look at the auto tone, auto contrast and auto color. So before we do that, we're going to duplicate this layer. There's several ways to do it. One would be to uh, drag it down to the plus um, icon. Uh, another one would be where we kind of just select the layer that we want and we go to uh, the shortcut which is Control J. It's one of the main shortcuts you're going to learn, Control J. And then there's also the option for us to right click and basically uh, duplicate layer. Okay, at this point, if we duplicate the layer, you can see the first time the dialog box has come up for us to actually rename it. In this case, we're going to call it Auto Tone. And I'm just going to press OK. And you can see now, unlike the other layers on the right hand side here, where they're just kind of showing copy and copy to, now I've actually renamed the layer itself. Also, if I want to kind of duplicate the layers in any other way like we just saw, I can go in and change their name by just double clicking onto the actual name itself. And then we can go ahead and basically change its name without any option. So as I said, auto tone, auto color and auto contrast. So by that done now, um, we've first of all introduced ourselves to a brand new thing which is layers one of the most powerful things within Photoshop and you're going to be seeing us kind of explain demonstrate use and manipulate these layers during the course of the next 10 films so uh, to begin with let's just um, switch um, them off now as they are they're basically all the same because we haven't actually done any adjustments to them. Uh, layers work basically like a book page as far as um, you can't see the page below. If it's a thick paper, if the paper is very thin or the paper gets wet, you start to see below uh, a little bit. That would be to do the opacity, so actually how you see through it. But as a rule, a rule of thumb, the top layer is the only one you're going to see unless you're going to give it some kind of change in either its blend mode, which we'll cover in future episodes, or the opacity, which we'll definitely control uh, in this session. So the first things first, if we want to, in this layer, we want to go up into image and we want to use the auto tone. Now, straight away, we can just, if we switch those middle two off for a minute, we can just switch the little eye off and on. And you can see straight away that the auto tone has made an adjustment to the image. It's not only kind of mixing the contrast and the tonality and the color, it's kind of blended it all together as such really. Let's switch that one off for now. And now let's switch on auto color. And we're just going to go into image. Oops, it helps if I select it. I have to select the layer, okay, before I can actually do anything to that layer. Because the auto tone layer was selected, but it was switched off, that is why when we came across into image to look at the adjustments here, you can see it was impossible to actually use grayed out, in other words. So just go and select the layer that you want, make sure it's switched on and then just go into image and then this is auto color so as you can see now it really has just affected the color over the image it's neutralized it trying to bring everything up uh, back to a more natural kind of uh, color and then we're going to switch the other layer on the auto contrast and then image and then auto contrast 
So pretty much with this image, if we switch the auto contrast on and off, you can see there's hardly anything being done to this file, which means the processing from the raw file pretty much has done all the job anyway. So just kind of switching that on or off, you can see there's hardly any change to the image. But when we actually click on to the auto color, we drastically saw the difference. A slight muting of the color, uh, a more of a correction, taking away some of the blue and so on with it. And then in the auto tone, that basically lightened and brightened, just added a little bit more kind of a, a contrast to the image, but it basically kind of brought everything together in a, a, a kind of a more evenness and things really. Now, obviously, when you're kind of just getting going, um, pressing these buttons is no big deal. So obviously, Control J to duplicate the image. Then we go across to double click it, auto tone select the layer image and then auto tone we saw that remember then to duplicate this again what we want to do is at this stage because we've adjusted this top image we don't want to actually apply the same adjustment to the color whatever it is we want to keep this layer okay so we're going to go back to the background image and now we're going to control J it now we're going to go into auto contrast select the gray to acknowledge the name change and then image and auto contrast that does that once more select the background and remember we can drag it down to actually duplicate it as well if we forget the shortcut uh, and then we can just go into auto color right and then by that all I've now got to do is go into image and auto color and pretty much if I switch the others off by just clicking onto the little eye you can see the difference in the all uh, the auto color the auto con contrast and the auto tone so the auto is a really great way for you to um, really kind of take control of uh, the basics, especially when you're a little bit kind of confused exactly what to do. Now, I said I'd be kind of throwing in some um, kind of little bit of curveball for you. So a little bit of a kind of, okay, we know how to do the basic, but now we want to make that quicker. And you can see here, um, I've got three kind of little buttons, auto tone, auto contrast and auto color. And this is uh, an action to do exactly what we just did, but in an automated way. So basically what we've got here is if I press the auto color, it duplicates that name, uh, uh, the layer, it renames the layer and it goes ahead and actually applies the actual changes in the image and the auto color that we just basically applied. But instead of having to go through it in a slow way, we're trying to automate things up. So layers um, are basically signified um, by this little kind of play arrow. So it means it's kind of, it's going to replay things that you do in time and time again. Okay. And actions is one of those things pretty much on all of this film series that we're doing are going to be on repeat. So you can build up a real action palette that is yours to fix things that you need to fix. So, um, when we look at the action palette now, because it's all kind of in button mode, uh, we need to uh, basically go in and take it out of this mode so we can start to create an action of our own. So in this case, we'll go into just click on the um, three, four little stripes here at the top, which reveals a hidden menu. And you can see already it's on button mode. If I click off button mode, you can see it totally looks different now. And in fact, what I've got in here is series of folders or sets, yes? And within there, we have actions that are contained. So if I just flatten that for a minute, so I just toggle this um, arrow to shrink it down, hides them. And all I'm going to do now is click on the folder, which signifies a create new set. So this would just be a PSB, so Photoshop for beginners. And this would be tones. 
I should have said it should be auto. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, I'm just going to press OK. Now, this doesn't have anything in yet, so now I need to actually just click on this little kind of page with a plus, which is create new action. And this is going to be a chance to us to name, so auto tone. Yes. And at this point, as is the first time we've ever talked about actions, we have options here to assign keyboard shortcuts, so the function keys, and we have a chance to actually uh, choose a color. Let's go ahead and choose red here, okay? And just gonna press record. Now, basically, just like a tape recorder, it kind of records everything that you say, and when you play back, it says the same thing. That's exactly what an action is gonna do for us. So in this case, we're going to select the background layer. We're gonna right click it. We're gonna do duplicate layer. We're going to name it in auto tone. We're going to press OK. And now we're going to go up into image and we're going to click on the auto tone. And once we've done that, we've technically completed the actual action to make it as such, really. So as you'll see now over on this little action palette, we have this um, record button highlighted. We need to press to the left hand side the stop button. That stops the action from playing. Okie doke. So we want to make another one again, which is going to be for the auto cod uh, the contrast. So in this case, I'm going to click on the little plus again. And we're going to call this auto contrast. We're going to give it that. Uh, red. Let's give it orange so you can definitive between the um, uh, the two or the three that we're going to create. Just going to press record again. Now I want to select the background, right click it, duplicate layer, and this is auto contrast. Press an OK. And now I want to uh, go up into image, adjustments, and we want to click on to the auto contrast. That one's done, we stop it again. And then once more, we want to click on to the last plus again. So this is auto color. I'm going to choose a oh, different color. Let's go yellow. I'm going to press OK, uh, record. No, notice as soon as I press this record button, this little round dot is going to go red, yes? So it's gone red. I'm coming back over to the background layer. I select the background. I right click on the gray. I'm going to duplicate layer. This is auto color. Press an OK. And then I'm going to go up into image and auto color. Once that's applied, I can press the stop button. So you can see the difference, this auto tone, the auto contrast, the auto, uh, the auto color. And basically, you can see how it has the different kind of sections that things that we applied. So in each one of these actions, it's showing that we selected the background layer, we duplicated that layer, and we renamed it, and then we actually changed its kind of levels. In this case, it's color. Okie doke. So once we do that, of course, if we switch the button mode back on again, you can now see if I scroll down, we've created these new three options here to kind of work. So when we want to get rid of a layer, the best way to do it is to grab the gray area and drag it to the little bin. And by dragging them to the bin, it's obviously delete, uh, deleting them, yes? And you could see the differences as we delete them off. So all I've got to do now is collect, uh, uh, sorry, click on Auto Tone, Auto Contrast, and Auto Color, and then choose out of them which I feel has the best effect on the image itself. And once I'm done with that, of course, pretty much it can be applied across any type of image. So again, Tone, Contrast, Color, switch off the ones that you feel is going to have the most uh, kind of effect for you 
and then you'll start to actually realize straight away that or auto tone perhaps is going to be your default now just because we've added in the uh, auto tone here if we wanted to um, basically add the color change as well um, what I would rec recommend at this point is that we duplicate this layer so do you remember we just go control J to duplicate this layer I'm going to double click it now I'm going to do auto tone and auto color so in this point I've already had the auto tone put on it because I duplicated this layer now I'm going to go into image and I'm going to go into auto color so not running the action because remember the action would have gone down and chose the actual background image and duplicated that one so now I'm adding the effect onto the actual image itself so we can see now if um, down here on the right hand side I've got the history palette o open and this basically allows me to just step backwards either one or more uh, across it so there's the open you can see it duplicated the layer it applied the auto tone we did a duplicate layer of the uh, copy itself then we basically did the name change and then basically I applied the or uh, the auto color now as is there's hardly any change in the color there so in this case I can just either switch this one on and off because this one has the auto tone and auto color on top whereas the one below just has the auto tone and of course remember that the one below that is the actual background so now if we switch that on and off you can see the difference that we just made so by um, having or taking the time to create the uh, actions you might say I need to uh, apply the color tone to this image or a contrast to this image to go in and fix it straight uh, straight away so you can then go in and basically make those adjustments for instance if I hit or auto color here it's going to be a negative because there's so much red in the background it's going to turn the image blue it's trying to fix any color issues it doesn't know that the background is red the wings are red the uh, um, top is red as well with it and hence now you can see what we've actually done is basically we've kind of changed the girls coloring which is wrong so then that would be okay so auto color is incorrect let's actually try auto tone and now you can see all of a sudden it's got a cleaner whiter brighter uh, um, uh, look and feel to the girl itself compared to the original where it's a bit yellowy the or auto tone has done its job if we didn't want the effect to be as heavy as it is or as full as it is we can of course go in and this is where we can change the opacity by e either clicking on the number or the opacity itself and type in 50 percent in let's say that is now half and half so it's only half visible below um, if i want to use a quicker way though i could basically just um, Press, uh, slide the cur the cursor back and forth on the opacity name and I'm using the effect which is the scrubby I should all also say that the numerics from uh, 1 to 0 on the top of the key at uh, the keyboard will make the adjust adjustment so if I wanted to just press 5 then basically it's 5% because I had it highlighted um, let's just uh, put that back to 100% again but now away from the actual uh, opacity we get to actually change its kind of look and feel so as far as the different images are concerned we use the different ones to correct what we think is wrong with the image and not necessarily pressing all of, of, of them hope you enjoyed this film I'll see you on the next one